Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this episode of Every Effect and After Effects Explained, we're going to be taking a look at the Perspective Effects folder. So the first effect we have in here is 3D Camera Tracker. Now this is an effect that I've actually done a full separate tutorial on, it's a little bit more involved of a workflow, but a basic idea is that it'll analyze your clip and it'll give you all of these different tracking points which then you can use to stick text or shapes or other objects on so you can track the motion of things. So if you want a more in-depth full workflow of this, I'll link you to the separate tutorial in this case that I've done on 3D and even 2D camera tracking in After Effects. Next up we have 3D glasses. This kind of splits the image into a left and right view. So in the effects control panel, we can choose the left view and the right view and you have some options to converge them together and things like that. And you also have options on how to see them. So just left and right, or even like different color channels if you needed for some reason. Next up, we have bevel alpha and bevel edges. I'm actually gonna work on a shape layer to demonstrate these. And you might be familiar with these from Photoshop blending styles. As a quick side note tip, you can always access layer styles. If you right click a layer, and go to layer styles. Here's where you can get things like outer glows and inner glows that aren't necessarily right here in the effects control panel and they just show up under the properties of a clip. However, similar to some of those layer styles, you also have effects like bevel alpha and bevel edges which allow you to add things like a little bevel on the side and alpha takes into consideration the shape of the layer so we're getting the star shape However, bevel edges simply just bevels in the edges without taking into consideration the shape of the image. So it's a slightly different look. You can work on text, shapes, or layers. Next up, we have a cool effect. That's CC Cylinder. This will just take your clip and turn it into like a cylinder shape. But you also get some of that perspective and shading that happens. So you can adjust the position. But we can rotate it around and you get this cool folded up clip that can roll around and spin around in whatever way you want. So, so it looks really cool if you can think of different creative ways to put it to use. Next up, we have CC Environment. Now, if you just drag this onto your clip, you'll notice nothing really happens. This is because we're gonna need to have a camera layer active to allow us to have some perspective. So if I go to Layer, New, Camera, the concept of cameras in After Effects is that it can allow us to change the perspective of a clip or the viewpoint like the X, Y, and Z and the rotation. So now with the camera layer active, I can add the CC environment onto a clip and now it will warp this clip into a spherical shape or a couple other maps that we can choose. And we can look around the clip as if we were from a camera viewpoint. So if I zoom out, I can look around and it's almost like we're in a 360 sphere looking around the scene. Now you do get some interesting spherical distortion but it can be a really cool way to take a flat image and map it into a 3D sphere. And you see not only can we adjust the pan in the effect control but if we go to our camera now and move around we can also move around the clip with our camera perspective. So our camera position and rotation, we can move around the clip in all type of cool different ways. Especially if you keyframe some of these, you could create some cool perspective animations. Next up we have CC Sphere, kind of similar to the cylinder, but it just turns your clip into an actual spherical ball. And you can choose the size of it. You can also choose the light and the shading direction. Another one we have is CC Spotlight. This just allows us to add a spotlight onto our clip and you can choose the size, the shape, and strength of it, as well as the type of color that you have available. So whether you're creating an interesting title animation or trying to add a spotlight on some text, or just on your clip in general, you can have this one here. You can animate it in different ways, and you can also change the color to be whatever color you want. Next up, we have Drop Shadow. So I'm actually gonna create some text for this one, again, to just to demonstrate it for you. And the Drop Shadow, We'll just, as it says, add a little drop shadow onto your text. You can choose the strength of it and the color of it as well. And also the distance and softness. Again, it's kind of like one of the layer styles that you might find in Photoshop. 
and you can do similar stuff with the layer styles as well. Along with drop shadow, we also have radial shadow. So it's kind of like the drop shadow, but it works a little bit differently in that it rotates in a, in a more radial way. So it's kind of like there's a light being shined at the text and casting a shadow. If I show you what that means, here's a light source. If I put it up here, if I drag it around, you can kind of see how it works. It's just like casting a shadow from a, a light. So you can choose the projection distance and also the softness, but same idea kind of as drop shadow, just works in a little different way. So that's everything in the perspective folder. Some really cool stuff in there, getting into 3D cameras and cameras. And in the next episode of this series, we're going to be taking a look at the simulation effects. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe to my channel so you stay tuned for all of my new videos. I'm covering all of the effects and after effects in this playlist. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.